eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Successful liftoff for Electron from Launch Complex 1. Rising and shining and on its way to space with JAXA's RAISE-4 mission. Next, we'll be listening in for confirmation that Electron has passed through Max-Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Once through Max-Q, the rocket will have endured the peak structural load during ascent, and those loads will continue to ease as Electron climbs higher and higher into space. Approaching Max Q. Cleared Max Q. HPV discharge nominal. And there's the call out for Max Q. Now those Rutherford engines are back at full power as Electron continues to climb. We are 19 kilometres above the launch pad and travelling at more than 2,300 kilometres an hour and coming up on a series of manoeuvres by Electron for its next phase of flight. First up is MECO, or main engine cutoff, when the nine Rutherford engines on Electron's first stage shut down completely to allow for the next event. Right after MECO, we'll see stage separation followed by engine ignition on the second stage. Now, the engine will then continue to propel Electron and RAISE-4 into orbit, providing the necessary thrust to overcome Earth's gravity and reach orbital velocity. Now, let's listen in for those call-outs from Mission Control. Entered burnout detect mode. 15 seconds to staging. Miko confirmed. Stage separation confirmed. Stage two ignition confirmed. Stage two guidance is normal. As you just heard, that's Miko stage separation and second stage ignition confirmed successfully by Mission Control. Next up, we can expect fairing jettison. We've got a camera inside the fairing, so we should get a pretty good view of Race 4 being exposed to space for the very first time. Fairing jettison confirmed. confirmed, and that's race four on your screen there as Electron continues to carry this mission to orbit. We have a few minutes between now and our next milestone for Electron, which will be battery hot swap for the Stage 2 Rutherford engine. For now, Electron is performing nominally, travelling at a velocity of 8,500 kilometres per hour and currently at more than 133 kilometres above Earth. Stage two propulsion nominal. Now the team in mission control have been closely monitoring the vehicle's performance and engine power levels in the lead up to the battery hot swap event on the second stage. Electron's Rutherford engine uses a battery system to power its electric propellant pumps. As the second stage continues to orbit, those battery packs are depleting, which means Electron needs to switch to a new set of batteries to keep the engine burning to full duration. 
Now we call this mover the battery hot swap and it's scheduled to take place during today's flight at around T plus 6 minutes and 29 seconds. When that swap takes place, the old battery packs are removed and fall away from the rocket. The silver pack on the right hand side of the screen will be the one to watch during that event. When the hot swap occurs, it will disconnect immediately and you should see it fall away out of frame. At T plus 5 minutes on the clock, we've got about 60 seconds left until that milestone. Guidance nominal, 200 seconds remaining. HVB discharge, holding nominal, approaching hot swap, roughly 30 seconds. Throttling down. Battery jettison confirmed. Hot swap successful. Nice, a clean hot swap by Electron. The second stage is powering on beautifully, carrying Rays 4 to orbit. Stage two is now traveling at 16,000 kilometers an hour and performing nominally as it heads toward our 540 kilometer altitude target. Between battery hot swap and Seco is another two and a half minutes of burn time for the second stage Rutherford engine, which produces up to 5,800 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of space. Now Electron's second stage has completed almost all of its stage events during this phase of flight. And all that's left to complete now is engine shutdown and stage separation, which will be a very similar process to what we saw earlier in the launch for the first and second stages. We're coming up now on the final actions for the second stage. Very soon, we're going to see the Rutherford engine power down and shut off completely for our Seco manoeuvre, or second engine cutoff on the second stage. Once the second stage's flight is complete, the kick stage, with JAXA's Race 4 spacecraft attached, will be separated into a staging orbit ahead of payload deployment. Seco is scheduled to take place just a couple of seconds after T plus nine minutes. Not long to go now. Terminal, 20 seconds remaining. Seco confirmed. Nominal transfer orbit achieved. Stage separation confirmed.